Yo, what's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to do a uh, shoe collection video because that's what people do apparently. And uh, I know it's a super original idea, but uh, I thought I'd go ahead and do one because I really like shoes. So, I've been the same shoe size since like a junior in high school. So a lot of these are on the older side and I really don't get rid of a lot of shoes. And then again, a lot of these were gifts because when it comes around to Christmas, my birthday, and all that stuff, they're like, friends and family will go like, well, what should we get him? Well, he likes shoes, right? And then they're like, yeah. So a lot of these were gifts. I'm very grateful to have a lot of loving friends and family to gift me these shoes because they know I love them. So anyways, I'm just gonna start in one direction and they go along. I have all my shoes sprawled out here on the floor. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. These will be in no particular order, but at the end, I'm gonna list and show a couple, several shoes that I would be open to selling. So, and obviously I would give my subscribers like a good deal on it. Um, I'm not gonna like jack up the price. Not that any of these are like really all that hyped or anything, but anyways. All right, so the first one are these Teva or Teva Alt Premier sneakers. Oh, I almost said sneakers. Sandals, the Goth Jesus ones. Been wearing them a lot, did a whole video on them. So if you want to go check it out, it will be linked below. Got the acronym Vapor Maxes. They're pretty much the same thing as normal Nike the Vapor Maxes, but the whole design's a little bit different. The color scheme is, and you get that acronym branding. So I actually do really like these. I should have got the more earth tone one with like the orange, but I'm just a total sucker for this green. So, oh my God, I'm gonna burp. One of my favorite shoes are definitely the acronym Lunar Force ones. I wear these a whole lot. As you can see, they're quite, quite dirty, but I really love them, especially in like fall, winter, and springtime. I wear them quite often. In the summertime, they're a little bit heavy and a little bit not very breathable. But yeah, wear these a lot. Did a really, really bad review on these when I first started YouTube. And uh, so if you do watch it, I'm sorry that it's incomplete trash video but moving on you know room for improvement you gotta start somewhere my first like eight videos were like the um, 2018 acronym presto in the white yellow colorway this one's probably one of my most favorite shoes just to look at I think this colorway really complements this shoe and you can see all the designs in it it's not the most wearable of course because of that neon yellow and bright white right there that isn't dirty at all because I take good care of these. But yeah, I, I love these shoes. Also right now, I'm wearing some camo Crocs because it's called Drip. All right, we got the, the cool gray custom acronym Prestos from 2018. Uh, I removed the acetone, put on some reflective 3M laces and like sanded down the cage a little bit. These are quite dirty as you can see, but I love them, wear them a lot. Not, I didn't wear them that much this summer even though they are breathable, but love these sneakers. Okay. Now, these Y3 Casa Highs are probably one of my favorite to look at. It's one of my favorite shoe designs by far. I love all the straps that go all over, the neoprene upper, the tubular sole. It's a very, very unique shoe. Not many shoes look like this. This is probably my first like high-end sneaker I ever got. And I got it on sale, of course, because Y3 always has really good sales at the end of their season. So I got them for 200. I really don't wear them all that much, even though I love these shoes. Yeah, anyways. And then I also got them in like all black, but these have some reflective 3M uh, print on the neoprene right there. Um, it's pretty cool. I actually like the gray ones more. So I picked these Y3s up, oh my God. I picked these Y3s up and this summer when I went to New York, had a really good sale. I got them for like 120 because they were 50% off, but then I got an additional 15% off because they got some damage on the ear, uh, little eyelid right there. But I did a quick video on these styling. I really like them because you can wear them with like more streetwear fits or some outfits that have some technical elements in it. Um, but yeah, not really a tech wear shoe, but I think it can be styled in that manner. But love these kind of a funky feel to them because of the weight distribution of that kind of bulky sole all right we got the nike react ispa did a video on these very futuristic shoe like it but it's really good for winter time so i haven't worn them uh, much just because it's been you know summer all right one of my most 
worn winter shoes are the SF Air Force Ones. They're just like a really good beater just for daily use, especially in winter time. Because it is on the heavier side, it's not like breathable or anything, but what I really like about this shoe is it kind of reminds me of like a Star Wars shoe. Like if I were to be a Star Wars character, as lame as that sounds, I think I would probably wear these and run around. Oh boy, okay. I remember these. These were, this was the NMDs from the second release ever of the NMDs. So I got them in spring of 2016 when they first came out. And I was like, dude, I, I don't want to wear these all that much. Like I don't want to stretch them out or anything. They're actually quite comfortable, but they're just so tight around my toes. And like I went true to size and everything. And I don't know if this is like just on these, but yeah. You've definitely seen these vans before. These are the pro skate velcro vans if you guys do shop around for vans i would definitely recommend just getting the pro models because they're meant for skating so they're built with higher quality tougher materials i wear them all the time in the soles like not really all that run down and i've had these since 2017 still wear them to this day when i first started getting into sneakers and fashion the first shoe i got were these black superstars and I remember they were like 80 bucks and I was like oh dude that's expensive I was, I was in like I was like a junior in high school no I was a senior in high school yeah and then I ended up later that October when I went off to college I got the white ones um, I wear the white ones quite often I think they're quite dirty but I just hang on to these because it is kind of a timeless sneaker so you never know I, mean, I still wear the white ones quite often. I haven't worn the black ones in a while, but. And then we also have the Nike KMTR or Commuter. Um, Earl and Hugh did work on these and helped design them, so. Oh, that's kind of cool. I did a video on these like a year ago. Um, not the best video. So these are our, I got these for Christmas, this past one for mountain biking. My mom got them for me. Um, but I use them for, not for downhill mountain biking, but for my dirt jumper. The sole works very, very well with the pedals I have and all that stuff, so I use these for that. Now, I actually really, really love these Adidas Match Courts. These are Adidas skate shoes, of course, and I did skate a little bit. I was never good at it. I'm much better at mountain biking. They have really good board feel because they're on the thinner side, but stylistically, I actually like wearing these with streetwear fits. I think they look really good with baggy pants, too. Okay, then I also just got these this summer. I've been wearing them a whole lot. These are these spruce green, like barely volt Nike Element React 55s. Really like them, but my girlfriend was kind enough to get me the vanilla ones on my birthday. So actually the day I uploaded the review and styling video for those, she got gifted me these. And I really like these. I think these work better when you wear more brown tones. So if I wear this shirt, um, I, I think it works better. But if I were to wear like a green shirt, obviously the spruce ones will work better. But I think these are gonna age really well as they get dirty. Um, and kind of worn in because right now the sole is like eraser white. It's like almost too white. But once that kind of dinges up, I think it'll play in very nicely with the earth tones in it and it'll be much more wearable. Now, the only Jordans I have are these Rare Air ones from 2017. And I actually got them on footlocker.com for $79, I remember. The, the hype beasts weren't after these at all because the logo that they printed up here wasn't the standard one. Um, so they're like, oh, we don't want that. Uh, but it's a, to me, it's pretty, it's like the same basic shoe. And I really like the color. So um, yeah, I wear these with a lot of streetwear fits, but yeah. I, I, I've been thinking about getting some more Jordan ones, but then I'm like, you know what? I have these, let me just wear these. These have stayed clean for so long too. Like I don't treat these nicely and whatever coating Nike put on them, like it's kept them very clean. I actually kind of like the look of Jordan 1 where they're like kind of beat up. I think it looks cool. All right, I actually really like these Doc Martens. These are the, hold on. I think they're, the, they're called Pascal. Doc Martens Pascal. They're like the standard classic boot design of it. Um, I did kind of a different lacing system to it, but I love how the toe and heel are black. So it kind of plays in nicely with this deep cherry red. Different than standard black ones, but really like them. With Doc Martens, always size down, like a whole size. Staying on the Doc Martens theme, I got these. These are the, what are they actually? I got them at Nordstrom Rack, and but they're, they're kind of like the classic ones, but it's more of a combat boot to it. And then for my birthday, my girlfriend did get me some 
yellow laces so I thought it looks kind of cool but obviously the yellow laces scream like oh look at these Doc Martens but at least in my little opinion they kind of almost look like some designer boots but they're like 80 bucks from Nordstrom Rack um, but yeah very comfortable actually. Sticking on the boot topic I have these Nike SFBs I got these back in 20 16 but I, I hung on to them because I really like how they perform like hiking around all that stuff And if it's like super snowy out, I'll break these out, but I really like this color I might do like a DIY to them where you like kind of spray the bottom like black Maybe like kind of dust it kind of like how I did uh, those Air Force ones, but I don't know we'll think we'll, we'll see the last pair of Doc Martens I have I like really don't wear all that much even though I like them they're these uh, the concept ones um, I just don't wear them all that much and they're not that comfortable either because the sole is super thick so it's quite heavy and when it's a big sole like that and you don't have a boot upper to like really disperse the weight it kind of wears heavy around your ankle but I do like these a lot maybe I'll be enlightened to them around the corner Staying on the theme of shoes I don't really wear anymore, these are Adidas Young Ones. I actually love the design of these shoes, but the color I got of them is just like, dude, like, how, how do you wear this? How? Very comfortable though, they look like Nerf footballs, but I would be open to selling these even though I do really like them, I just don't wear them. Um, and these were like the first release I ever had of the Young Ones. Now sticking along with the whole like kind of dad shoe look. I really, really love these Puma Thunder Deserts. Or wait, yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, um, but I did a video on these. I think it's a very, very tasteful, chunkier shoe. To me, this is like a very wearable Balenciaga Triple S. So something that's not like too much. It still has like layers throughout it. And I love the earth tones throughout it. But they look really good with baggy pants. Now these are Thursday boots. These are the Duke Chelsea boots. And I really like these. And I picked these up because I am a senior in college now. I'm majoring in finance and risk management and insurance. So I'll most likely be going into corporate America soon. So I'm going to have to start building up that business tie wardrobe. So I picked these up because you can wear these with a suit. But you can also wear them casually and kind of have that YSL look going on. That's how I've been rocking them. But really like these boots. And I'm high quality too for how much you pay for them. So... I might do a video on these and or like a styling video on how to do black Chelsea boots, so I don't know. Black custom Air Force Ones that I just did the video on like a couple days ago. I picked these Air Force Ones up in New York. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of these in winter time. Um, much easier to wear than like the all black ones. And then of course I have these standard white Air Force Ones. I wear these all the time. Um, I like the look of Air Force Ones once they get like kind of beat up and they're not like super white. Uh, it makes it more wearable for outfits too. La uh, and then I only got a couple. So I have these red old school Vans I got back in 2016. Don't wear them all that much. Uh, I also have them in black with the laces. And lastly, gonna end on a doozy. Uh, hit them with the I Smoke Weed at Hot Topic shoe. These are the all black Converse. Not that I do any of those activities because I don't smoke weed and I don't shop at Hot Topic. I might do a DIY with them to like dust them with that gray spray paint. I don't know. Uh, hopefully I edited that down so it's not so long, but um, several shoes I would be open to selling the young ones. These are probably be the most expensive out of anything that I'm selling. Um, but just like DM me on Instagram and we'll see if we can work out like a PayPal situation with these if you like these, cause I do like them, but. Uh. And then also, uh, I actually saw these on Depop in the same exact size selling for like 30 bucks. So if you want these, I would go to them actually cause much cheaper price than now I would want to get rid of them. And then lastly, I would be open to selling these NMDs. Um, these were the second release ever. So they're like the first ones that, well not the first ones that came out, but like the second release of them. Um, uh, I just thought I would throw that out there. Not that I'm expecting to sell these. In case someone out there wants to hit me up, to see if we can work out a deal between those three, go ahead and DM me on Instagram and we can work out some PayPal situations. Anyways guys, thanks for stopping by. I know that was kind of a long video, but uh, kind of a laid back video, not too special, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you in a video pretty soon. So if you have any video suggestions, go ahead and drop in the comments below. Um, but go ahead and comment your favorite shoes because I have too many favorites in here. So anyways, I'll see you guys later.